you can sign these guys long term and still add a free agent bat that helps you for sure. And I, I think there's this way that teams brag about like how little they spend across major league baseball and, and Moneyball kind of made it cool not to spend and, and cool not to pay players what they were worth. Well, yeah. Cause you just looked smart. Yeah, exactly. You outthought the room and, and uh, it got the A's a lot of success. They won a lot of ball games. They weren't able to cap it off with a world series. Same goes for the Rays, where they've won a lot of ball games, still haven't won a world series either. Um, I just think that, you have not only made it, I think, less interesting to follow these teams because you don't have those guys that are there for much more long, much longer than like four or five, six years, but also like it's so hard for casual fans to get into the game where you're looking at these rosters and it's like, I don't know who this guy is. Like, I don't know who the stars are anymore. Mm -hmm. and, and that's really tough. I mean, I look at the TV ratings for the World Series right now. It's the lowest they've ever been. And I think that's also due in large part to Texas and Arizona not being traditional you know, yeah. teams. If there was the a larger Series. East Coast market in there, we'd see. For sure. Areas. But right now, I just think baseball is at this weird stage of like teams look to save money more than they do look to spend money. And is it paying off in World Series? Is it paying off in championships? I would say no. I like not. the take because you're saying if you're saying that I want to be like the Rays and I want to be like the Moneyball A's, neither of those teams have a World Series trophy to show for it. So what's the point of modeling after them? Exactly. And I think, what is it, three of the last like 25 World Series champions have been in the bottom half of payroll. Uh, it was like the 2015 Royals, the 2017 Astros, and then I think it was like the 2003 Marlins or something like that. Um, and then the Astros obviously became one of the higher spending teams because they ended up paying a lot of that core that won them a World Series in 2017. Um, if that's how the Mariners want to increase their, their spending, if that's how they want to increase their payroll, then there's nothing stopping you right now from, from extending these guys that have helped dig you out from that hole that you were in four or five years ago. Do you think that we see this like all or nothing approach when it comes to spending the 206 on the Mac and Jack's text line because players are so expensive. MLB is all guaranteed money. Teams like the Yankees have their own network. The Dodgers are owned by multimillionaires. Okay. Yes, those are fair. But again, I really don't think the vast majority of Mariners fans are calling for that. And the idea that the Mariners or owners uh, or that they as a franchise don't have money is false. Correct. I, I think like they don't have Dodgers money. They don't have Yankees money. But again, I have not heard a single Mariners fan call for them to go have a $300 million payroll. No, I, I don't think any Mariners fan is calling for that. You know, go from what is it? 138 million or something like that. Yeah, I think they've said, hey, you're the number 15 market. Maybe you should spend like a number 15 market yeah. instead of, you know, 21, 22, 23. Like just think of increasing your payroll to a, a number of like, you know, 40 million more for next season that's maybe like two 20 million dollar players You're still in the bottom like, half of the or league like three 15 million dollar players yeah exactly and and if you're paying a guy 20 million dollars which is what the qualifying offer is in major league baseball that's a starting caliber player like this mariners lineup is definitely a couple guys away from being you know considered a, a, a good lineup in yeah. major league baseball like, why not just make those smaller contributions, make those smaller purchases? That way you're not ruining this, you know, 2026 plan that Jerry DePoto has, has talked about in the past. Like, signing Cody Bellinger to a one-year deal and, and watching him have an amazing season like the Cubs did this season was not going to ruin the plans of 2026. Do you think that there's a general misunderstanding of, like, and this isn't to slight anyone or insult anyone's intelligence about how teams are built, but you clearly are passionate about it, and I feel like you get really fired up and then your take is, like, hey, this is more measured than you think. Yeah, I, I think there is a, there's a lot of nuance in this conversation because uh, of, you know, when you say spending, everybody just assumes. They get defensive. Sp yeah, they get defensive and they just assume spend for the top of the market guys. Now, those guys are, you know, maybe the surest bets on the free agent market, but that's not to say that they're, it's just, you know, completely devoid of talent. Like, it would be a ton of fun to bring Shohei Otani here to Seattle. I don't think that's a very big likelihood to happen, but that doesn't mean the Mariners should shy away from free agency just because they strike out on Shohei Otani. If you don't bring him in here, there are still opportunities to, to round out your roster. 
Uh, guys like Cody Bellinger is going to be a free agent this offseason. He's still young, too. I get that he plays center field and you've got Julio there. Uh, you know, maybe you, you try to convince him to play right field. I don't know. Uh, you've got Teoscar Hernandez. I don't think that's a very high likelihood that he comes back just based off of the season that he had here. Uh, and, you know, there have been a couple of weird social media things going on with Teoscar where he's liked a few posts that kind of talk about hinting looking, that he's going yeah, to looking go. for a new place. Yeah. Um, but I look at this, this upcoming off season and saying, you know, Hey, like there's still ways to add and you, you just can't, like ignore that entire portion of the off season the way I feel like they did last season. They didn't do it so much the year prior because they ended up getting Robbie Ray. Yeah. Um, I, I do give them credit for that. And I think had Robbie Ray been healthy this season, I think people would still look at that signing as, you know, a pretty decent signing. Yeah. I mean, he's not a Cy Young award winner right now. He used to be, uh, but I look at right now, this Mariners team, cannot afford to sit out free agency again, especially well, with how good the AL West is. you got two World Series, potentially two World Series champions ahead of you. That's exactly right. And to your point, and this is kind of like what you've been, you know, getting toward too, there's a bit of a make-your-own-bed situation when you lose a lot and when you don't spend and when you have those broken contracts or relationships or whatever. So I always see people say, well, what if they've tried to sign free agents and free agents don't want to come here? Yeah, I think that's something that really happens. Uh, well, what if they you know, want to extend Kirby and Kirby wants to leave? Yeah, I think that that is also a possibility. And you know why? Because you haven't proven you can be a World Series team. So there's kind of like a chicken and egg or like a make-your-own-bed situation. The best way to help yourself mm -hmm. in both of those things is to win more. Yeah. The best way to win more, at least some fans think, a pretty large number of fans, is maybe take a risk. Maybe, you know, bring clearly bring in bats. You don't have the offense that you need. You've learned mm -hmm. that for two straight seasons now, that you have a very streaky offense that at times can, you know, have a lot of power hitters, but at other times can have these long stretches where you do nothing and it is an infuriating viewing experience. That needs to be better if you're going to be a World Series team. you got great pitching. you got a great bullpen. You need to round out your roster.